even now uh, in our pandemic preparedness, we're seeing that we're ready, but our frontline providers are screaming that they don't have gloves, masks, and gowns to respond to a case tonight. Dr. Akamoto raising concerns in light of what's happening in Washington State, where a nursing home outside Seattle has become the center of the state's COVID outbreak. Almost 30 police officers and firefighters who may have been exposed were quarantined after showing flu-like symptoms. Dr. Akamoto says he's heard from local first responders upset over the lack of having PPEs. They're actually pretty pissed off that they don't have it yet. I mean, the fire department apparently has some gear, and I encourage the people at the GRMC and GMH emergency rooms to watch your gloves and masks because apparently the fire department likes to borrow them. Um, but they, they should have their own gear. Dr. Akimoto says he hopes the PPEs have actually been ordered already because of limited supplies that are available across the country. Our supply lines are choked uh, because everybody else has placed their order and apparently we're uncritical because we're a bad vendor. The governor during the GMA forum responded she hadn't heard of any complaints. First responders, I have not heard from Chief Ignacio, I have not heard from Dan Stone that they don't have the protective gear that they need, at least masks and gloves. I do know that they had an issue with N95, but we've corrected that. And we've gone in there and fitted all the first responders for N95, and we are providing them with N95. So rest assured that as a responsible governor, that I will provide the necessary protective gear to protect our healthcare professionals. According to CDC's COVID-19 guidelines, recommended PPEs include a single pair of disposable patient examination gloves, disposable isolation gown, respiratory protection such as N95 or higher, eye protection such as goggles or disposable face shields. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matsunani.